In the first half of 2021, integrated technology developed for the L3 Harris ENVGB night vision binoculars were tested, and soldiers were astonished by the new capabilities the equipment provided, such as clear vision during daylight, dark, or foggy conditions. The goggle binocular also allows for an unprecedented level of communication and teamwork with its wireless attachment to the Army's Net Warrior program. Moreover, the sophisticated technology enables users to engage from afar while not even abandoning concealment. As Specialist Tomoy Ellis explained, the ENVGB glasses, quote, you don't have to be confused anymore. New Technology The defense industry is always on the lookout for the latest technological innovations. More interconnected and interoperable systems are continually sought to keep soldiers on the front lines safe while in critical conditions across land, air, and sea. And that's how the enhanced night vision goggle binoculars came to be. L3 Harris developed this next generation night vision gadget, which became the most advanced piece of equipment of its kind. The goggles upgrade the user's spatial recognition abilities and location, and allow them to engage with threats in their surroundings while accessing common operating imagery from a given environment. The ENVGB consists of a dual wave band goggle mounted on a helmet. This new version is ahead of its predecessors, with its increased field of view and thermal range. It has an unparalleled low light night vision performance because of its mil spec 18mm I squared tubes and Generation 3 white phosphor technology. It also features 2,304 figure of merit and 32 signal to noise radio, as well as 72 line pairs per millimeter resolution. Regardless of the battlefield conditions, the ENVGB provides sharp targeting and precise identification. The goggle can be used in degraded visual environments like smoke, fog, or debris because of its white phosphor image intensification technology. In tandem with thermal imagery, this advantage provides a more complete solution by bridging gaps in capabilities for both types of sensors. By joining the ENVGB with the company's smart battery pack, the goggles also include features like wireless communications, rapid target acquisition, and augmented reality. Moreover, their smart battery packs support RTA, as the zeroed weapon sight reticle is displayed, along with a portion of the weapon sight thermal image in an overlay mode. In addition, its display is in full color 1280 by 1024 for maps and information overlay. This advancement is the Army's first heads-up display and can be used in day and night lighting conditions, as the Altery Harris's high-performance white phosphor and thermal vision fuse seamlessly at the push of a button. Included with the cutting-edge device is an embedded inner soldier wireless network. This feature delivers real-time video as well as target asset information, all within the inbound display. What's more, it interfaces with the U.S. Army's Net Warrior program. In terms of optics, the objective has an 18-inch to infinity focus range, and the gadget includes diopter eyepieces that aid soldiers with differing visual acuity, while the FPAs fused with eye squared can be configured for either left or right eye configurations. All of these capabilities upgrade the soldier's situational awareness, and therefore their mobility and overall protection. The technology in the goggles also enables the troops to see around corners and behind cover while not getting exposed, while the soldier's abilities to identify, assess, and engage targets are now enhanced in both accuracy and speed. Testing. An Army-directed requirement prompted roughly 5,000 ENVGBs to be fielded in early 2021. The program entered low-rate production and continued to carry tests through the first half of the year. The 101st Airborne Division was part of the trial phase for the new night vision goggles, and a handful of soldiers spent the better part of a month learning and testing the equipment. The program's philosophy is guided by soldier-centered principles, which aim at constant end-user feedback throughout every stage of the development process. According to specialist Tomoy Ellis, quote, the ENVGB is leaps and bounds beyond what we have now. It's really impressive technology. My first time in a unit when I tried out the old NODs, night observation devices, last year, I got lost and was all the way on the other side of where I was supposed to be. So this will especially help the new guys that haven't walked in the field at night. They'll be able to see exactly where they're going. I wouldn't have gotten lost if I had these ENVGBs, that's for sure. The program of record prototypes are making tremendous advances compared to their predecessors, and the new night vision goggle has now surpassed the PVS-14 night vision monocular and the PAS-13 thermal rifle optics altogether. 
Sergeant William Williams stated, quote, The white phosphor fused with the thermal overlay helps a lot as well. The good thing about it is the mode that may work best for me may not work for one of my soldiers. It has lots of settings to where they can adjust whether they want more white phosphor or more thermals, so in situations where you're not getting a lot of ambient light, you can crank the thermal up and really see anything that picks up heat or puts off a heat signal. Moreover, the device's capability set includes several more modes and options that can interface with NetWarrior's AR tools in numerous ways. As Major Brian Kelso explained, quote, When you integrate those technologies, you're going to increase situational awareness and also lethality at night. You get added capabilities, such as rapid target acquisition, the ability to passively bring the weapon optic into the goggle, and also augmented reality when you bring in any of the icons displayed in the soldier's net warrior and user device, EUD. Those all feed straight into the ENVGB goggles, so the soldiers don't have to open up their EUD, and they can keep moving and seeing those graphical icons. When paired with a net warrior device, the ENVGB allows the Android Tactical Assault Kit to use augmented reality applications and overlay map graphics and blue force tracking. And in addition to increased situational awareness and communication, it facilitates mission planning in both day and night operations, potentially reducing fratricide incidents. Perks The goggles feature a dual-channel multiband radio, which enables data sharing on larger scales. Using them enhances the collaboration between soldiers, as they can enter enemy icons on the device and share their input with the entire network. Not only does the group leader have better situational awareness, but also higher command and control. Williams added, quote, These systems help make communication to leadership easier, because sometimes things get hectic out there, and I might stumble up. But now, even if I can't talk at the moment, I can hit a button and push everything that I have on my net warrior out to my train of command, so they know exactly what I've got going on. The FWS-1 optic feeds the view of the weapon site. Soldiers can then see the exact position of a target, even at a long range in the display, removing the need for a laser and face-to-face -face confrontation. This passive engagement maximizes the effectiveness of a weapon, even beyond 600 meters. Furthermore, targets can be accurately identified at farther distances than ever before. Picture-in-picture -picture and full weapon sight modes allow soldiers to conceal themselves and still be able to engage potential threats. Williams explained, quote, it's pretty cool to be able to put my head down and engage targets without actually compromising cover. I could stay completely behind cover, my eyes and head not even looking in the direction of the target, and utilize my FWS-1 pumped into the ENVGB and effectively engage my targets that way. Even though these technologies are still not standard practices, further testing might accelerate their disposition. Williams concluded, quote, It's definitely grown on me. At first, I didn't like it at all. I was like, just give me the NODs and let's go on. But it has grown on me, and in certain situations, I think it can help save lives and win the fight. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels. And don't forget to tell us about any other topics of your interest that you'd like to see featured. Thanks for watching.